All right. Even the music going on in the background just gives me the goosebumps because I played this game so much. If you guys have never played Call of Duty 4, I can't wait for you guys to play the multiplayer, man. Just the music. This is the menu music. This exact music going on in the background right now is the menu music. And it just reminds me of playing COD 4 for hours and hours and hours. And this, this this mission right here was the original shock factor in the game. So uh, if we look at Modern Warfare 2, the airport scene was the shock factor in that game. This mission right here, if you call it a mission, was the uh, the original shock factor. And you'll see why as we uh, make this drive through town. And I'm really curious to see how this looks. The AK bullet hanging from the... I, I think that's... Actually, that might be a sniper bullet hanging from the mirror. So we're not quite at the shock factor yet. I don't exactly remember where it is. But we're coming up on it. And there's a very simple reason why it, there is the shock factor to go with this. You can see them here breaking into a building. So people f running from... So here's one right there. You can kind of see this one. You're right here, I believe. So they kill innocent people. And this was like the first game to ever kill innocent people. Or one of them. Well, I shouldn't say the first game. But the first, like, AAA title mainstream game to ever have just killing innocent people in it. And, like, there you go. There's another one right up above us that just happened there. And Call of Duty's always done that. They've done the shock factor to get people to buy the game. I don't remember this, going through this thin of an alley. Oh yeah, I do. Okay, I remember the spray painting guy. The guy running from the dog. I don't remember those planes flying by, that's for sure. I mean, here it is, here it is, right here. That's the scene where people were like, oh, what? And in the original game, I believe they were pushed up against the wall with their hands behind their head, and they didn't do that in the remake, which is interesting. Maybe trying to be a little bit more politically correct. Only a little bit, though. They can still kill innocent people. And this is an awesome scene, too, when we get out of here. I'm going to stop spoiling things before they happen. It just always brings back the memories. Boom! Kicked in the face. I can tell you one thing. The game certainly, certainly looks a whole lot better in HD. And by the way, this where we're going in right here, this main part that we're walking into, kind of half awake, is actually a multiplayer map. I can't remember the name of it, but this is a multiplayer map right here. This is such an awesome scene. So 
so there's our first look at uh, a bad guy in the game. The bald man. Al Assad. It's such an awesome scene. So this is that was right there was one of the events that triggered the start of this game, really. And all that mission was was a big cutscene. just executed President Al Falani on national television. The Americans have planned for Al Assad, and it's too late to do anything for Al Falani. But in less than three hours, code name Nikolai will be executed. Nikolai, sir. Nikolai. We gotta save. We gotta save Nikolai. Wow, the face models look so different in this game. That looks nothing like him from Call of Duty 4. He's in hell right now. We're going to walk him out. We take care of our friends. Let's move. You have no idea how amazing it is to hear this music after so long with good graphics. Like, Jesus. There's our C4. There's our night vision. We got some noob tubes. Got some C4. Or not some C4. Those bad guys? Weapons free. That's a kill. And I have no idea where the rest of the intel is on this map. Found it! What guns do they have? AKs? Ah, uh, we've already filled around with some AKs. I thought there was intel in there. Uh, there is, I believe, two on this map. Or, I call it a map. On this level. No idea where the second piece is. I'll try to find it, though. So there's obviously one guy. The shadows are done much better in this game. I can already tell you that. I don't remember this. <laughs> oh, I, did, I thought that was all of them. I hear one more. Oh, he's in the last stand. Yeah, that's one thing you're going to have to get used to. Chess set. What do we got here? Way more detail in just like the little things in this game, that's for sure. Interesting. Get out of building. It's interesting how updated some things are that I don't even recognize them. Like, like I said, this is not even like close to my second time even playing through the game. This is like this is like an eighth or ninth. You smell that? Yeah, camera. Off. Welcome to the new Russia, Captain Price. What's the target, camera? Off? We've got an informant to recover. The M twenty ones on the other side of the hill. The rockets have killed hundreds of civilians in the valley below. Not so fast. Remember Beirut. You're with us. Hm. I guess I owe you one. Bloody right you do. What happened in Beirut? I still don't know what happened in Beirut. Well, that's not English. I can't understand that. I'm pretty sure I'm the sniper. The one thing that's really impre this looks sick. I don't know if I'm supposed to be killing these people, but I am. Don't take out the 
Through the wall. Oh, nope, not quite dead through the wall. There you go. I don't see the other machine guns. Where are the, uh... Oh, there they are. Can't we just, like, shoot some rockets? Like, I don't remember the buildings burning like this, that's for sure. Oh yeah, I gotta use the grenade launcher, that's right. The good old noob tubes. Now all we need is some one-man army and uh we got this this mission covered. I mean clearly Infinity Ward thought it was good enough to put in Modern Warfare 2. Jesus, there's more than them than I thought there would be. Oh, that's a grenade. Yeah, another thing you want to keep in mind while playing this game is that grenades are beasts. Unlike, uh... Current games, grenades kill, like, a massive radius of people. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Where did this guy come from? <laughs> the amount of freaking The amount of view kick you get. When you get shot with a bullet, is so much more. Oh, I gotta do this all over again. Uh, and that's one thing you're gonna want to be careful with. In this game, um, what can actually happen is if you go too far, for some reason, the bullets just do more damage to you. I've always noticed that in this game. Like, if you're out of position or something like that, the bullets will just add more view kick. And I don't know if they do that on purpose as a way of, like, Making you play the game they want you to. Oh god, grenade. Grenade, Jesus Christ. That's what I mean with grenades and their massive blast radius. Alright, we're out of go. Alright, we're gonna just... Holy shit, that was an RPG. Do we gotta go over here? Here, I got this, don't you worry. Checkpoint reached. Oh, that's a tank. Oh, I missed. To the east. Those are those are not hostiles. Those are the people on our team. Almost got a collateral there. This gun isn't the, uh... Clear... Whoa! I almost shot my own teammate there. Isn't the epitome of sniping in Call of Duty 4. Is there more of them coming this... Oh, there's this guy. Oh, well, that car just blew up. How many of these nerds do I gotta kill? Now we are making no, we're not. There's st still about a million of them running this way. Well, I killed as many as I could. Don't you say I didn't. Where are we going here? Grappling hook time. Oh. Right there. Did he just tell him to go sit in the corner? 
I'm pretty sure he just told him to go sit in the corner. Alright, let's fuck some shit up. Those are, uh, those are my guys. So are those. Alright, we're going in. I'm just running straight in. No fucking... Er oh, oh, maybe this is a bad idea. Holy fuck. The one other thing, especially when you're playing on veteran, um, there's actually certain areas where you can go and stand on the maps. I don't know if this is still like that in this game, but in the original Call of Duty, there's specific spots where you can go to stand, where your team will actually move forward ahead of you, and will actually kill people for you. And it actually also stops them from spawning. Why are you behind me? Like... <laughs> Uh, this is what I mean with if you go too far, they may just spawn enemies on you. I would say this time, uh, I, I don't really know. Alright, here we go. Ready? Let me out! See, there we go. I think by hopping through that window, they, that's what made them move forward. You're a bad guy. I'm sure we missed some intel in this area. Alright, we're moving. Oh, this is the house! Where am I getting ready? Right here. Here's where I'm getting ready. Oh, right. We're cutting the power. Okay. That means we need these on. There it is. Man, see, there's this is the thing is there's there's no moments like this in the new Call of Duty campaigns. Holy fuck, that's a grenade. Way to go, Captain Price. Way to run straight into that grenade. Alright, let's uh, turn these goggles off. Oh, this is the wrong room. Maybe I do still... There's Nikolai. Give me that 47U. Or 74U. I can't pick it up. I actually thought there was intel in this building. Did they, did they use a different voice actor for him? He sounded different. Is there intel in here, maybe? For some reason, I thought there was in here. Maybe I'm just going crazy. Ah! Nope. Not crazy. Alright. Where are we going, Gaz? the helicopter we are here what are you saying captain price Alright. Well, good to know. See, the problem with this is now that I've started playing the game, I just don't want to stop. 